Hey guys, Chris here for Thomas Guitars and Basses. Today, I wanna to talk about all the main delay types and how to use them. We'll talk about analog delay, digital delay, tape delay, reverse delay, ping pong delay, slap back, everything, all those things. In case you enjoy our videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. Let's get into this. The first type is analog. You'll find all kinds of analog pedals. Um, one will sound super warm, very subtle, you barely notice it. And there are some other types which are way more clear in the repeats and they will almost sound like a kind of a, a clear tape delay. But what they have in common is that they will sound most subtle out of all the delay types. Um, you can use them in the background, you can use them as always on pedals or effects, which is really cool. You can definitely use them for solos, single note lines, even rhythmical stuff, because the repeats are not gonna be as much in the way as, for instance, a digital delay or even a tape delay. I have two pedals here to showcase the extremes of analog delays. One is the Castellator Time Trap, which is a really nice high quality pedal that has super subtle and very warm repeats. It's, it's your typical always on kind of pedal. The other extreme is gonna be the legendary Deluxe Memory Man, which is famous for having the most clear repeats out of all the analog pedals, analog delay pedals. And uh, you will understand exactly why I've chosen these two as soon as you heard the playing parts. Next delay types are tape delays. These will sound definitely clearer than most analog delays, which is cool, but they are not as accurate and precise as like a digital delay. So they sit pretty much in the middle and um, I would call them for that reason, sort of all-rounder delays. You can use them for pretty much everything. They have a very nice and subtle wobble, which means that the repeats will be slightly pitch modulated slightly out of tune, but if you mix that together with the dry tone of the guitar, which is in tune, you'll get this kind of slightly chorusy kind of effect, which is so pretty. So you can go back with the mix, sit, uh, let the delay sit low in your mix and then use it as an all-rounder. You can still use it for solos. Um, it doesn't really uh, mess up the note articulation of your playing, which is really nice about them. Uh, but if you go with the mix way up, you can use them as sort of rhythmic delays and um, let them do this wobbly, pretty chorusy kind of effect. There's one more application uh, where you would hear tape delays and that's the slapback delay. Slapback is nothing else than a tape delay set to a very short delay time and just one repeat or maybe two, but one is best. And uh, that is some sort of a, this rockabilly kind of uh, delay type, which is really cool. It's uh, very, present, so it's, it's a, a big part of your overall guitar tone. It's beautiful and it's as simple as that. Tape delay, mix pretty high, just one repeat and really short delay time.
And the last super relevant, super mainstream delay type is digital delay. You should expect the exact replica of your guitar tone as repeats. So it's gonna be however your guitar sounds, that's how the repeats are gonna sound like, which is a really cool experience. Like I highly recommend trying out a digital delay if you never did that before. If you wanna make um, a delay type an important part of your signal and you wanna admire that rhythmic uh, experience, you should definitely go for a digital delay. Um, the downside is that even if the mix is lower, like the delays are not very, uh, well, loud, uh, you can still clearly and precisely hear everything that's happening in the background. So you might wanna be careful if you're playing very rhythmical stuff or when you're playing a solo and uh, you don't want the delay to mess with the uh, note separation and, and just the articulation of your guitar playing. So in that case, you might wanna be careful with a digital delay. Otherwise, it's just a magical tone. Um, a huge benefit of digital delay sounds is that many pedals and racks and multi effects will have a stereo out and uh, having that ping pong effect, um, the clear separation between the left and right speaker or left and right headphone uh, side, uh, that is something that's, that's just absolutely huge and awesome about digital delay sounds, especially if you mix that with a little bit of like a chorus uh, modulation on the repeats uh, or anything like that, that's just absolutely beautiful. So uh, let's, uh, let's appreciate some ping pong stereo delay from the uh, Source Audio Nemesis. Um, <laughs> yeah, no comment. This is quite an experience. It's crazy, the, the sound in the room. I'm uh, using both outputs of the Nemesis Delay to give you the stereo ping pong effect. And obviously then I will have to use two amps. That's what I did. I had the Rev D20 on one side of the mix and the Mini Plexi, Marshall Mini Plexi on the other side. It's crazy. If you're interested in um, anything that I've been using in this video, you'll find a link in the description box with all the gear. Uh, so yeah, go check it out. And now let's move on to the crazy delays. There, this is like, I would call this a category, but there are no limits here, obviously. Every pedal maker, every delay creator will come up with something cool and original or, or just fun. And, um, and there are no limits. You'll find reverse delays. You'll find um, delays with, with the phaser flanger on the repeats, or you'll find, uh, like for example, bit crusher delay in the Boris Audio D1 delay pedal. So there are no limits and um, you just really have to be aware of these being a thing <laughs> and, uh, and just use them but use them wisely. <laughs> These are not gonna be great for, obviously for like an always on kind of delay, but they are really inspiring and, and they definitely always trigger something in me to come up with new melodies and, and chord progressions. So uh, let's check out a few examples. <laughs> Oh, 
This is so cool. All right, let us know in the comments below if you have any questions about delays. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.